yourself. Loving you was the easiest and most effortless thing I've done. From meeting you for the first time to where we stand right now, it has been seamless. I won't ever leave your side, no. If you can read my mind, no. So happy that you're mine, oh mine. Without any doubt, I found my one true life partner, my soulmate, my one and only. I can't wait to have children with you. So to raise our own kids into this world. <laughs> with the values, the compassion, care and love that you radiate my life with. You'll be the best mum to our kids <laughs> that I could ever think of you becoming. So a few years ago, Mike phoned me up out of the blue. He'd been living in Australia, and he told me that he'd met a really cool girl. So if he rings his father and says he's met a girl, it's got to be good. And obviously, it's great, not just good. And he said to me he'd come all the way to Australia to meet a girl from Greymouth, New Zealand. And wasn't that, wasn't that kind of funny? How I've managed to put a ring on it is beyond me. Quick, put it on before she oh, says yeah. no. Oh, shit. <laughs> it is and always will ever be the best and most proudest achievement of my life. made me a better version of myself as I have continued to fall so deeply in love with you. This is the easier part. <laughs> okay. I told you I'd cry, I'd totally cry like a b Okay. Celeste. I've watched you grow into this gorgeous woman that you are today. <laughs> it's time to get this party started, so please give it up for the new Mr. and Mrs. Joblin. There's been a more recent strike, and that's when Mike Joblin found gold, and that is you, Celeste. Uh... <laughs> We both know I'm the most indecisive person in the world, but choosing to spend the rest of my life with you was the easiest decision of my life. We can all agree that saying yes to Mike when he popped the question was definitely one of your better choices, and together they will flourish. <laughs> I can't wait to stay at our own family with you. I am and always will ever be yours. So now, for the last toast of my time on the mic, please raise your glasses and have a very generous drink to celebrate Celeste and my own wedding. Uh, a little bit annoyed that as the best man you put your faith in a dog, for the rings rather than me. I raise my glass to the two of you and wish you nothing but the best in life together. May each day be full of love and laughter between you both as you state your new journey as a married couple. Cheers to Mike and Celeste. Yeah.